for all things Halloween. <laughs> this is Hauntformer, and welcome back to the first official Spirit Halloween sneak peek for 2015. And we got to see actually two brand new Spirit Halloween animatronics. Let's get into it. And I'm very excited about this. Um, now, first of all, a few things. One, you're probably thinking, Hauntformer, this video was posted like five hours ago. You're way behind. I'm sorry I was at work. I couldn't do anything about that. But here I am now, and I'm going to give you my commentary on the two animatronics, which were the creepy Sailor Boy and the Face Off um, doll prop. Um, my first impressions were they were pretty cool. Uh, I now... Reading through some of the comments on the videos, a lot of people were a bit disappointed because we wanted to see a life-size prop, and I am uh, with you on that because, I mean, they've been teased for a while, so the least we could have gotten was a life-size. But at any rate, um, these are really cool props, and I think if Spirit Halloween would have posted them after a life-size, they would have gotten uh, better comments, but uh, since they were the first sneak peeks and we really were wanting a life-size prop, I can understand why some people were upset. Um, me, on the other hand, I was actually excited to see these because I've been a huge fan of the creepy dolls and the zombie babies for quite some time now. So I was really excited to see these two new ones um, coming to Spirit Halloween for 2015. Now, the first thing I'll talk about is the creepy sailor boy. Um, he wasn't that scary, just more of creepy. He kind of resembled, I know I mentioned it before, uh, Robert the doll because he is a sailor he is like a doll and he is a bear which all kind of fits in with the Robert the doll theme except the box doesn't really make any sense if it was to be a Robert the doll you know mock-up um, but it is a creepy prop and if you are willing to pay I think it's $40 I want to I want to guess I think it's 40 I think they're both $40 uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that but um, if you are willing to pay around $40 for that prop, go pick him up at spirithalloween.com when he comes out. The second uh, prop was the face-off um, doll, which personally I really liked and I definitely really want to buy this year. Um, it has a few creepy sayings. I didn't hear them all because they just showed two. One of them was like a mirror mirror and one of them was um, I got this something like I got this somewhere I can't remember anyways um the motion is really cool I don't know if it's sped up or not but either way it has like this really cool creepy noise and sh uh, she's also forty dollars and I really like the face and the mouth movements um now here is something interesting that I saw some comments about and I am definitely kind of on board with this these props don't seem to resemble any Halloween company that I've seen. I know it's not Morbid because we've already seen Morbid's new zombie babies, which look awesome, by the way, but these are not them. They don't look like techie props uh, just because of the design and kind of the movements. They don't seem to match what we've already seen with techie toys. Um, I'm not sure if it could be a YJ. You know, I'm not positive. But I've heard a lot of people saying maybe we're getting a new company for Spirit Halloween, which would totally be awesome. And I'm always looking forward to seeing new companies. So if this is a new company, uh, that would be really awesome. But at any rate, these are two really awesome Halloween props. And I'm glad they were sneak peeked. Um, I hope we get to see an animatronic soon. Let me know your thoughts on the creepy sailor boy and the face off doll in the comments below. And I will try to post my video of the next sneak peeks coming up soon. Thank you again so much for watching. And remember... For all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer. Boom!